up guys? Today I am working on my 1975 Ford Bronco and what I'm going to be doing is replacing those old and tired drum brakes for some new fan dangled disc brakes. Video one is going to be the uninstall, stripping everything down. Video two is going to be the U-joint replacement and cleaning out the axle tubes. And then video three is going to be the disc brake install. So step one, remove the lockout hub and retainer bolts. Now I have no idea what locking hub I have, but when you take it apart, all of this stuff came out. So just remember how it goes back together when you're putting it all back together. Then remove your inner snap ring. Now to remove it, you want an angled screwdriver. Uh, when I was doing this, I did not have an angled screwdriver. So I grabbed one of my cheapo screwdrivers, stuck it in my vise and just kind of bent the tip. So it's angled now. Use this to remove your inner snap ring and then also use it to remove your outer snap ring. Then just pull out the locking hub mechanism. At this point, you'll be looking at the inside of your hub and it'll look something like this. But if you look at it sideways, this is what it looks like. You have your outer spindle lock nut, you have your spindle lock nut washer thingy, and then your inner spindle lock nut. What you wanna do is grab your Dana 44 spindle lock nut socket and slip it over the lock nut, it's kind of difficult to get on there, and then just to unscrew it. So now you got one of your lock nuts out. Now what you have to do is remove this washer. Now this washer has a little lip on it that needs to come out in this channel. If it's lined up within that channel, it should just slide out. Then pop your socket back on there and loosen your next nut out. At this point, you'll be able to pull off your hub and your drum assembly. Mine was incredibly difficult to get off. I was banging on it. I was doing everything I could. I ended up getting a crowbar in there and just kind of pulling everything apart. Now, if you're not going to do a disc swap, Make sure that you don't jam everything down in there with a crowbar, but I am doing the disc, disc upgrade. And so I didn't really care about all the drum components inside of there. Then go ahead and remove the brake line from the wheel cylinder. And then what you're gonna do is take the six bolts that are on the backing plate and take those off. Might be easier if you wanna take off your wheel cylinder. I left it on there. Uh, because I could get to the bolts pretty easily. Uh, then use a rubber mallet or something to get the backing plate off. And then once you have that, then you can take your spindle off. This does not come off very easily. So you'll have to use a rubber mallet or something uh, to get that bad boy off. Uh, at this point, you've got everything pretty much taken apart. Uh, go ahead and clean everything up make it all look pretty and new. So again, video two is gonna be the U-joint replacement and cleaning out the axle tubes. And then video three is gonna be the actual disc brake install.